Hey everybody, uh, coming along with the project share today. Um, a while back, uh, Neri, DC Scrap and Rooster, hi Neri, um, had asked me to alter a clock for her and she actually sent me a clock and I started to do that and then it got, got to a point where I was like, I don't know if this is something that she's going to like or not because of the way that I was doing it. And um, But it was to a point where I couldn't go back and start over again. So I um, had uh, another clock that I had actually gotten from a yard sale last year. It's been sitting there waiting for me to do something with it. And, um, you know, just trying to come up with a theme, an idea. And then I saw um, uh, Maggie, who was who had done created a kit for One Little Dreamer, and that's uh, Maggie White here on YouTube, and the kit just struck me. I was like, okay, I'm getting it, I'm going for it, this is what I'm going to do. Um, so the clock was originally um, a cream color, and it had a rose painted on the front of it. Um, so I gessoed it, I painted the clock, and I'll show you in a little more detail and then just went for it and it's a large piece so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this um, I'm showing you the back first uh, which I covered with this gorgeous turquoise uh, crinkly type fabric that I just fell in love with and I added a scallop shell to the bottom and some really pretty um, rosette trim that was from the kit from One Little Dreamer to soften it up a little bit and I did this chunky charm for, for Neri and yeah it'll be set with it sitting inside the shell like a little treasure and Neri's favorite color is blue so this, uh, so the Chunky Charm is in blues and pearls, and let's see, I had um, a necklace that had all of these um, blue beads and little uh, gold pearls attached to it already, so I split the necklace and did, hung it in two places, and did a bunch of dangles. Yeah, the blues and the crystals, some pearls, a little acrylic heart because everything I make for people is made with heart, so there's got to be a heart in there somewhere. And um, at one of the flea markets or yard sale, I can't remember which, I had found a charm bracelet that had all these wonderful um, sea-themed charms on it, so I added those to this. And Lulu is here visiting, and she really wants to go outside, but I'm going out after I finish this video. So, and I don't like her outside when one of us isn't home. I'm hoping you're seeing this okay, because these aren't that easy to show, actually. Little lobster. Just all kind, oh, just all kinds of goodies on there. So that is her chunky charm, and then on the sides or all the way around. Well, I, I used a couple of different colors to paint this, and I'm looking in the viewfinder, and it's just showing up really dark. So I'm I'm hoping you can see it. Um, but just to give it like a two-tone, because I think you can see this is a water theme type project, and water is not just one color. And then I wrapped all the way around with this gorgeous pearl trim that um, Trisha had sent to me. Hi, sis. Thank you. And that goes all the way around the sides. 
and on the front, this is the bottom of the front, I used um, Graphic 45 uh, by the sea and just cut out one of these little postcards and distressed the edges and then colored them using um, old paper distress ink. And this lace, this gorgeous lace is from the One Little Dreamer kit. And I had a bunch of shells and there's glue strings, of course. <laughs> so I added shells and pearls down at the bottom and then I kind of um, draped this gorgeous blingy and, and pearl necklace that I had um, gotten from one of my little uh, adventures. Just draped that around the postcard and around the edges. Um, I did this uh, single row flat back pearl trim again from Trisha. Thank you, sis. And on the part that was sticking out, I used um, the Lumiere Halo blue halo gold paint so it does have some shimmer to it and then I had um, these are actually like accent tiles to be used in you know a floor or a wall or something so I had some of those and put those around and put in some flat back pearls in between and inside where the clock would go let me see if I can adjust here a little bit I did a little underwater scene. Um, so the first thing I did was uh, a digital graphic that I had done a while ago, and it's an underwater scene, and you can't really see it to toward the top, but it does say explore. Um, and I did some um, some of the uh, pearl medium or iridescent medium on some of the parts inside you know one of the um sea leaves or whatever you would call it and on the fish and I did put some Mod Podge dimensional on the goldfish but you're not it's really hard to tell here and um I glittered up a starfish and put that in and used a little piece of bling inside one of the shells on the back and then on the ocean floor. Um, I used a couple pieces of foam and I had a piece of, I didn't have any blue fabric but I had a piece of um, white satin and I used um, a glimmer mist and, to color the fabric and that actually ended up working out really well and wrapped up the foam with it and I added some of the rosette trim and some shells and a pearl and bling trim that was in the kit uh, some sea glass. There are a couple pieces in there, but it's probably hard to tell. And for the mermaid, I had found um, a really cool uh, bottle opener at one of the art sales, and I absolutely loved it. And I actually wanted to put the bottle opener in there, but it was way too heavy, and I hadn't could, just could not figure out a way to secure it in there so that it would um, it wouldn't pop off and end up breaking through the glass it was that heavy so I made a mold and um, using the amazing mold putty and um, the amazing resin and made the mermaid and painted her fin with the um, again with the Lumiere blue halo gold and, and I'm trying to look in here to see okay and um, yeah, painted her body with just an acrylic paint and then covered, went over that with the um, iridescent medium. There's Lulu. <laughs> you gonna say hi, Lulu? <laughs> and um, used a gold Lumiere, Lumiere paint for her hair and a little Martha Stewart pink pearl for her lips. And she is holding above her head some gorgeous bling trim that was part of the cat. And I'm hoping you can see it. But that was the piece that actually, that was the catalyst to get this whole thing started. 
And then at the top, um, I put some of the lace that was also in the kit. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. <laughs> that was also in the kit. Yeah, it was like jellyfish or uh, sea anemones, you know, just to get a little bit of motion in there. And um, it was looking a little bit dark. So I had to add a light. So it does light up. And I love how it um, casts shadows with the uh, with the anemones, <laughs> and uh, at, you know lets you see some of the sparkle on the bling and the uh, starfish that's back there. So it was a challenge. It was a labor of love. And Neri, I I hope you're happy with it. I I did enjoy doing this for you. Um, you know, going with blues with blue being your favorite color. Yeah, you know, I had so many ideas of other things to do, but somehow this one just seemed to be the one that clicked. And um, I hope you love it. <laughs> uh, I'm debating on whether to attach the Chunky Charm in the back somehow, but that's going to be a trick. I might end up just securing it with uh, with some tape in the shell on the back. So, And now I have to figure out how to pack it up to ship it. So thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate your comments. I'm going to try to put some still photos at the end. Uh, but sometimes these things can be a little bit tricky to photograph. And, um, you know, if you're seeing this now, then she already has it. And um, do go over and check to see if she's done a video. And thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great week. Talk to you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.